So today let's talk about Raspberry Pi accessories. Now this $35 computer board is really great, but you do need some extra things just to get it working. And in getting started with Raspberry Pi, Sean Wallace and I talk about those really critical things you need like a keyboard, mouse, power supply, uh, SD card and HDMI monitor or composite monitor. Those are a lot of the basic things that you need to get the Raspberry Pi started. And there are a few things that I've found that have been very, very useful on top of those. So I pulled out my Raspberry Pi accessory box here and I'm gonna show you some of the things I have in here, some of the things I've used and I like to use in projects. And I wanna talk about some of the things I'm planning on using and then I wanna hear about what you guys think. So first of all, when you use a Raspberry Pi, you've got the SD card. Now the SD card goes in here and it sticks out. Now that can be a little concerning if you're doing a physical project and you're not using a case. So I like Adafruit's um, little uh, SD to micro SD converter thing here. Uh, what's great about it and makes it different than a regular SD to micro SD converter card is that it makes it low profile. It goes in and it makes sure that the, S the micro SD doesn't stick out the back of the Raspberry Pi. It just gives it a low profile. It makes it really easy to uh, get it into your projects without having something to worry about sticking out the side. So I really like that. Also from Adafruit is this. It's a, uh, a, a analog to digital converter. The Raspberry Pi doesn't have any analog input. So if you want to read sensors, you're going to need something to convert that. This has uh, three inputs on it. It's a 12-bit analog to digital converter. I use this, we talk about this in the appendix of getting started with Raspberry Pi so that you can read analog sensors. This one's a great one. Uh, Wi-Fi, uh, if you want to get Wi-Fi on, these guys are pretty cheap. They're little USB Wi-Fi dongles. They work great. They're pretty easy to set up now and you can get Wi-Fi on your Raspberry Pi and you don't have to run an ethernet cable if you're doing an internet connected or a network connected project. Power, um, I talked about having a power supply, but if you wanna have your project uh, a little bit more portable, you're gonna wanna get a battery pack. Find a USB uh, a phone charging battery pack. Those work great, I like those. This one I also got from Adafruit. Um, this, this is fantastic and you can find, uh, if you go to Amazon also, you can find a whole bunch of other ones. You just wanna make sure you're gonna get enough amperage, at least a full amp out of the, the charging port. So uh, look for something that maybe has a fast charging feature on it and has a USB ports. Um, when in getting started with Raspberry Pi, we show you how to hook up physical devices in your real world to the Raspberry Pi so you can control them over the internet. And in the book, we use the uh, power switch tail too, which comes in really, really handy. If you can light up an LED with the power switch tail, you can make it turn devices on and off blenders, lights, all sorts of things. So check out the power switch tail. I think that makes a great accessory for the Raspberry Pi if you're looking to get into, you know, giving your coffee maker an API or something like that. But if you don't want to have your Raspberry Pi right next to everything and you don't want to run wires everywhere, there's another potential possibility here. Now, I haven't tried this yet, but it's on my list and I have one here and hopefully uh, next week I'll get around to it. This is a um, this is called the Raspberry R A Z B E R R Y. I'll put a link in the description. It's a Z-Wave uh, uh, daughter board for the Raspberry Pi. You connect it to the Raspberry Pi, and it lets you control devices wirelessly using the Z-Wave protocol. So you'll have to get these um, these these guys. This will connect to a lamp or a, an appliance and then you can wirelessly control it with the Raspberry Pi. Now, as I said, I have not tried out this particular product yet. It's on my list. I can't wait to try it out, but I think there's a, there's a lot of good potential here if you wanna control devices wirelessly throughout your home using the Raspberry Pi. So, I, you know, I just get excited with the thought of having like a JSON API for the things in my apartment. That would be really cool just to make an API call to like turn the bedroom lights on. That would be really neat. And so that's kind of my plan. I wanna try that out. So I'm curious to know if there are particular accessories that you use, that you like. I'm gonna be writing up a bunch of different accessories for Make Magazine as in the review section toolbox. So let me know if there's something you love or you've been trying out or if there's something you want me to try out and review and I'll be writing it up for the next issue of Make. Um, Hopefully uh, you're, you're subscribed to this channel uh, and you're enjoying it. Uh, let me know. Uh, you can uh, find me at Matt Richardson on Twitter or google.com slash plus Matt Richardson. Have a great day.